So we're told to make mental health a priority, but where do we even begin? Yeah, enter Dr. Keandra Jackson, who has a handy acronym for mental health that literally spells out the word health. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for having me again. I appreciate it. Yeah, so let's ta start with the importance of healthy routines, right? In anything we do, a routine is always a good idea. Absolutely. I think it's really important to have healthy, consistent routines daily, whether that's around your sleep, nutrition, and even relaxation, because those are the things that's going to keep you grounded when life throws you those random curveballs that we all experience. Yeah. And how about expressing emotions? I think of this because I have a six-year-old boy who's very expressive and sometimes too expressive, but I guess that's a good thing, right? You want to like let those emotions come out. Yeah, practicing healthy ways to share your thoughts and feelings is always a good thing, and especially when you find someone that you trust, you know, whether that's a family member or a close friend, but learning to identify the emotion and express the emotion, whether it's positive or negative, is really helpful. And that can impact even your personal lives and situations or workplace and professional settings too. So you're saying express yourself but in the right way. Absolutely. The right way is key the, yeah. and the timing is also <laughs> important as well. Well what do you do with a kid though because yeah as an adult you can maybe do that e much more easily but yeah. with a kid like it can happen at any moment. Any moment at any time and you have to be ready, <laughs> yeah. right? But that's a learning opportunity for them because when you teach children how to manage their emotions early, that means they're going to grow up to be adults that are just as much effective at handling their emotions too. And so we all appreciate that. We certainly do. Okay, you say you can even get those positive affirmations which are really important on your phone. How convenient. On your phone. Apps are the way to go. Make sure you're downloading and utilizing apps. And it isn't just for things like online therapy, but relaxation techniques, positive affirmations, and even if you just need a boost of, you know, endorphins, if you're having a low mental health day or if you're feeling sad, that can be a great tool as well. If you're feeling sad, you know, and you have a lot of things going on in your life, that just all equals stress, right? So how do we limit stress and know what to do with our stress levels? Absolutely. I think the most important thing is to identify the areas of your life that bring stress. Now, I know there's not always things that, you know, we can't necessarily eliminate or mm -hmm. decrease, especially if it's a spouse or a child or a stressful <laughs> job, if we're being honest. But identifying positive ways to cope with that is really effective. So, you know, therapy, we talk about the importance of therapy, a great way to actually explore some of these issues. But also, therapy is important to go into prior to something becoming an issue. Oh, yes, absolutely. I wouldn't be a good therapist if I didn't recommend therapy, right? So consider speaking to a licensed professional about the things that are going on, whether that's your thoughts, feelings, but even current or past issues that need to be resolved. And just speaking to one's just speaking to someone from an objective perspective and someone who isn't going to judge you is really helpful and effective in your life, especially for managing your mental health. Mm. And how about managing friendships and relationships, cultivating the healthy ones, right? And kind of getting rid of the things that don't serve you, the yeah. relationships that don't serve you. Absolutely. Healthy relationships are key. I don't believe anyone should go through life alone. So creating supportive relationships with family, friends, coworkers, and even just people you trust in your community is going to bring that sense of togetherness so when those curveballs do happen in life, like we talked about a little earlier, you won't feel like you're doing life alone. So reach out to those friendships reach that you out. made, trust, yes. right? And then also do the work internally for yourself. That's the key. <laughs> That's the key. All right. Well, all great tips. Thank you so much. Thank it's so you. important to, you know, be reminded of all of these things that uh, we constantly need to do. Thank you, Dr. Jackson. Thank you so much. And you can visit her website, freementalhealthchecklist.com, to dig a little deeper on this topic and do the work. That's important. We'll be right back. Love it. <laughs>